football's Grand Slam rides on every shot as New York City College, already victor over Bradley's Braves in the invitation tourney, takes them on again in the NCAA Finals. City jumps into the lead as Big Ed Roman sinks one from the corner. 18,000 tense fans and the slow motion camera see the teamwork that makes Bradley the terror of the court as Bill Mann passes to Paul Unruh, who justifies his reputation. The score is tied six times. The lead changes nine. City, battling desperately for the unprecedented double crown, making shots from every angle count, leads by seven points at the half. Norm Major, not cold in the first half, now playing with five stitches in his head, sinks a beauty. City's 11-point lead looks safe, but Bradley, undismayed, comes back as Chinaka scores. It takes City teamwork at its best to cancel the damage, with Floyd Lane making the play pay off. City leads by a single point with 30 seconds to go. New York fans have their hearts in their mouths as Gene Melchiori, the night's top scorer, drives in for the shot that can win. But City's great captain, Erwin Dambrot, grabs the ball and hurls it the length of the court to Major. And it's all over but the shouting as the battered Norm Major playing the game of his life sinks it. City wins the game, the championship, and the first Grand Slam in basketball history.